What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Dokkan Battle. Now, today we have actually, uh, well, last night, I should say, we got a data download with a bunch of new stuff. Uh, you will see we have the rewards for, uh, I suppose, the reawakening of Vegito here. But we got the rewards over here for um, uh, for the, the tournament that's dropping tonight, so that's good news. We're actually going to get a new Battlefield and a new Battlefield LR. That's kind of sweet. Uh, about a little overdue on that one, I believe, but... It's nice to finally have a new LR here. And we have the information for our new Dokkan Fest that is coming on Monday. That is right. You can see right there, Monday night, 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's like 1.30 for uh, those of us on the East Coast. I don't know what that is, your time zone. There's too many of you to count. So, what does this mean? Well, first of all, Golden Frieza, and I know he's not golden here, but let's be real. Like, he transforms almost instantly. Um, in fact, the transformation uh, requirements when Frieza drops, well, first of all, let's take a look at Frieza real quick, okay? Resurrected Warriors or Other World, category, uh, other world Warriors, Category 4, HP, Attack, and Defense, 150%. So, good leader skill there. Raises Defense, causes immense damage to the enemy, and seals Super Attack, okay? So, a sealer, but don't get too excited yet. Hear me out. Okay, passive skill before transformation is brutal strength, attack and defense 100%, plus additional attack and defense 50% for 5 turns, and medium chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, within the same turn after receiving an attack. Attack, enemies attack and defense, minus 30% for 2 turns. So, pretty good. Uh, link skills are prodigies, uh, strongest clan is base, universe's most malevolent, shocking speed, nightmare, tournament of power, and fierce battle. Now, this Frieza will turn golden. And through an active skill. And the active skill, and I quote, can be achieved after entering attacking turn. So, like, basically, you'd really only do use this form um, if you, like, need a sealer or something like that. You're really going to use the golden form. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the golden form here on screen, but I do have the information on it. Uh, Golden Frieza basically uh, shares the same leader skill. His uh, super attack becomes massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. That's really nice. Now, they do get rid of the ceiling there, but let's go to his passive skill. Passive skill is attack and defense 120%, a little bit better, plus an additional attack and defense 80% and great chance of stunning an attacked enemy when performing a super attack. Now, whenever you see that, that tells you immediately you want to throw some additionals into this unit if you're able to pull dupes. Pretty straightforward stuff. However, re uh, reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. So, pretty nice stuff there. Pretty, pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet uh, unit that. And it's been a while since we've had a stunner, let alone a passive stunner with that kind of modifier on there. Uh, if you're able to get double attacks out of this dude, he's going to be able to do crazy, crazy stuff. Now, if you want to know basically how this all works, uh, the notes here say that his uh, additional attack and defense is calculated separately. It actually results in a total attack boost of 296%. Pretty nuts. Pretty wild. Now, it's only when performing a super attack, but how often are you not going to? And if you, like, I don't know, you guys, when I, like, don't do a super attack nowadays in the game, I'm just, and it's been this way for, like, a couple years now, but if I don't do a super, it's just kind of like, what am I doing? I'm not even attacking anymore. I'm not even fighting. Like, write that unit off and put them on the end. Um, so you always want to get a super attack off. That's kind of just the way the game works. Um, link skills, I don't believe, changed. Let me double check here. Uh, so, we have Prodigies, uh, no, they actually did change, they did change. So, Resurrected Warriors, Universe Survival Saga, uh, they're completely different, actually. Representatives of Universe 7, Transformation Boost, Full Power, Wicked Bloodlines, and Other World Warriors, those are the categories, not the Link Skills, thank you, Brain. Sorry, Link Skills, all of a sudden, like, these don't sound like Link Skills, those are categories. It helps if I read the right section. Alright, so, Link Skills do not change, I was right. Uh, Prodigies, Strongest Clinic Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, uh, Shocking Speed, Nightmare, Tournament of Power, and Fierce Battle. So there are no changes in the Link Skills, and the categories are what I read off earlier as Link Skills. 
So there's all your information. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal unit. Now, it's been a while since we talk news, but here's all the other units we're getting along with that. Really, Golden Freeze is the one you should get hyped about. Now, we also got one other thing with this data download. Now, obviously, we have uh, Vegito's, uh, if you want to talk about his uh, his awakening, his awakening is pretty all right. Um, you're not going to write home about it, honestly, but AGL type, key plus through HP attack and defense, 70%. If you need a sub lead for that, go for it. Um, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises allies' attack by 25% for one turn. So all allies get 25% more attack. That's substantial. If you're going to use him on a Patara team, you're going to love him. Uh, attack and defense, 120%. Key plus two plus additional attack and defense, 120%. Wait, what? A great chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, as the first attacker in a turn. So you always want to put him first and you would want to anyway because of... What his essay does. Superclass allies attack and defense plus 30%. So, all superclass allies are going to get another 30% on top of the 25%. This is an awesome, awesome unit. So, hopefully, you have uh, farmed out his essay. Uh, yes, you can farm his essay. And hopefully, you at least have, you know, the rewards. This is why it's so important that every time we get a tournament to at least go after the rewards. Uh, I know that. You know, I'm very busy these days, and unfortunately, I don't have time to grind the tournament like I used to. I kind of wish I did, but I don't. So, just at least go hit it every once in a while and try to get the rewards. It is so worthwhile, guys. So incredibly worthwhile. Um, but, what's really interesting here is going back to Frieza, what's going to drop on Monday is this little doodad right here. Dokkan Fest tickets. This will be good until the 20. Uh, 24th of the month. Now, this is most likely, and I will emphasize most likely, not a ticket you're going to get for summoning. Uh, that usually happens with dual Dokkan Fests and things like that. This, unless they're changing up for 2021, which I would be shocked. They usually would change that um, after the anniversaries and whatnot. This most likely is going to be a Pilaf Trove ticket. So if you're like me and you're trying to conserve your Dragonstones for you know, later events, we're going to get a lot of stuff later on. Um, they have, on Global at least, really taken to this idea of dropping these Dokkan Fest tickets so that we have basically other ways, other ways to acquire these units. Um, this is a purchasable ticket, I'm going to guess. You can get through the Pilaf Trove. They're usually not cheap, but they usually yield a multi-summon. <laughs> uh, or maybe some kind of enhanced multi-summon for about what you would spend in Dragonstone. So it's not the end of the world, but if you're looking to save Dragonstones, it's a great way to pay to gamble. And maybe win. Or probably lose. But I do like when they do this. This is actually kind of nice. It's another way to do summons if you are trying to conserve your Dragonstones for other things. Now, one thing I do want to mention, we didn't, uh, I don't have it here. Uh, unfortunately, these summon banners are usually hidden uh, until they go live, so we don't actually have it yet. But it is worth mentioning, tonight at midnight, uh, well, like midnight, midnight Pacific time usually, they usually drop a brand new LR banner. I uh, say LR banner, LR guaranteed banner step up banner let me check my words there real quick there is no notification that this is happening i don't believe this has been confirmed yet but they done it every year for the past like two years this would be a shock if they didn't do it this year normally what that includes is every lr that's basically been accrued up to the previous year so maybe even up to like the anniversary so there should be a ton of lrs on that banner if this does drop, and I think a lot of us are expecting it to drop, I will most certainly be summoning on it and bringing you the video on that information. That said, that is a 200 Dragonstone investment, so I sincerely hope you have saved some Dragonstones. Another reason why I'm really fond of this ticket is because after some of the other summons we've been doing lately and the fire, frankly, we pulled on the Double Rates banner, I am low on Dragonstone, so this tonight's banner will almost effectively wipe me out. That's going to be a big boon if you're in the situation that I'm at. One-time payment, boom, grab your tickets, and, well, wish for some luck. 
So that is the video, guys. I am pretty hyped for all this. Um, not as hyped for the tournament as I used to get back in the day, but I will be doing a little bit more in the tournament than I did last time, at least going after the rewards, and I highly recommend you do too. Um, it, it is totally worthwhile. And even if you don't believe the reward unit is worth now, it will be later on down the road. I think this is the, the reward unit. It's hard to tell whether it's that. This is, I believe, he's the awakening for the one that we just got uh, a while back in the uh, the summons. So this is going to be our reward unit. Um, causes supreme damage to the enemy, lowers attack. Um, attack and defense, 60% plus an additional attack and defense, 20%. At the start of each turn, up to 80%. Key plus two when Piccolo is on the team. Attacks effective against all types when your team has Piccolo attacking in the same turn. Attack and defense. 15% with each attack received up to 60%. So already really good. Imagine how good this unit is going to be when he gets an awakening. I digress. Awesome unit. Uh, another kid, Gohan. I believe that unit then becomes farmable. I believe so. So actually, yeah, go, uh, kid Gohan has several farms, if I recollect. So definitely at least go after the reward just to have them if you're not going to go crazy on them. But for now, that is going to be the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Like, comment, share. I will catch you all on the next one, which I actually have a video playing. I'm hoping I can get it out before uh, too late tonight. But uh, it's a fun one that I've been working on for a while. And part of the reason I've been a little quiet because these videos are a little hard to produce. If you know what I'm talking about, you're probably hyped. I'll catch you guys shortly.